Welcome back to Movies in Short. Today, we'll recap a 2019 drama adventure movie called William. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie opens with a ferry boat sailing through the sea. Inside, we see a young man, William, looking through the window. As we zoom in closer, we notice his unusual facial characteristics. We jump to a lecture about the Neanderthals by Professor Julian Reed. The professor is condescending and rudely describes them as stupid brutes and savages. He further talks about the age of Darwin and the age of Sir Francis Galton, who could tell how civilized or how intelligent someone is just by their appearance. He reveals that the world's only non-fossilized remains of a Neanderthal were discovered by his boss, Dr. Godwin Thomas, on this very campus and the specimen was named William, after William King, an Irish naturalist who first recognized Neanderthals as separate species. The professor concludes the lecture by suggesting to use William's DNA to create a living Neanderthal. A medical doctor with a PhD in reproductive endocrinology, Barbara Sullivan, is observing the lecture, she meets with the professor in a restaurant later that night, to discuss the possibility of cloning William. She explains that the process won't be easy, but it's possible. She asks him why he is so keen on Neanderthals in particular. He takes her to his lab and shows her pieces of stone carved by Homo sapiens and one by a Neanderthal. He says that they could learn a lot by bringing their closest cousin to life. With the approval of the university, they begin their work on cloning a Neanderthal which takes them several years. The project is the center of a heated debate at the university, and the dilemma whether it's ethical to fund a project about human cloning. In the end, Bob Claiborne, the president of the university, decides to shut down the project. This crushes Barbara and Julian, who poured their hearts and souls into it for the last few years. Barbara suggests to finish the project anyway. Julian asks who will carry the embryo, to which Barbara responds that she will. The couple proceeds to marry in Nevada and months later, Barbara goes into labor and gives birth to a healthy boy. The nurses, however, are shocked at the unusual sight of the baby. Julian and Barbara see baby William for the first time. Julian runs back to the university to announce the successful birth of a Neanderthal to Bob. Bob is outraged for Julian going behind his back and calls in a meeting to sue and sack him, but during the meeting with his other colleagues he reconsiders, knowing that the university might get liability for allowing this to happen in the first place. But if they embrace the idea, they might get good publicity. A week later, a press conference is held in the university, where Julian shows off pictures of the first ever Neanderthal baby born in the modern world. Dr. Reed says William is not related to him or Dr. Sullivan in any way, but he still considers himself a proud father of the child. We cut to William back on the ferry boat. He is 18 years old now. He gets off and together with Barbara, drive to a secluded house in the forest, near a river. She hugs her son and tells him he is welcome to come back home at any time. They part ways as William enters and explores the house where he will be staying with his father, he sees the Neanderthal stone on a stand. He goes to the balcony, where a canoe couple spots him and stares awkwardly. Moments later, a girl, Sarah, comes in and introduces herself to William. She is Julian's new girlfriend. That evening, the three have dinner and Sarah compliments William's healthy appetite, to which Julian notes that William's body mass and metabolism requires 20% more calories than regular humans. After dinner, Julian talks with his son and notes how proud he is for trying to learn more. Julian and Sarah try to teach William the basics of English and broaden his limited understanding. Will has issues understanding humor and metaphors. During a lecture in the university, Julian explains the people's harsh reaction to William when he was first revealed to the world and that some almost seemed disappointed that he didn't turn out to be a savage like they expected. William developed the same or greater intelligence than Homo sapiens children. His immune system is a lot more robust and adaptive than other humans, which may help medicine studies. We learn that Julian and Barbara's divorce happened because of Julian wanting to follow protocols and for William to be, essentially, a lab rat. Barbara disagrees and sees the lab as a cage, not suited for a human being. What happened to my brilliant scientist partner? I'm a mother. I need to take care of my son. He's not your son. Barbara. Barbara, wait, please. Barbara, I'm sorry. After a while, Barbara takes custody of William and brings him to live with her. 
Julian visits often and oversees Will's study and interaction with other children and the new environment. He also spends personal time with his son. A few years later, while riding a bike in the woods, Will is confronted by a few other teenagers around his age, who insult and chase him. After catching up, the bullies get their butts kicked by William's unnatural strength. The parents of the bullies file a complaint, but nobody takes it seriously. Barbara warns William to never attack someone like that again. Will uses a laptop to search online about Neanderthals and sees their description as stupid, savage creatures. One day, after playing catch, we see Barbara's new boyfriend, Ted Roper, which makes Julian jealous and start being distant. Years later in college, William takes a test, but due to his Neanderthal habits, he breaks the pencil. After the test, one of the girls, Judy, asks Will to come over to her house to help her study and help her practice for the upcoming opera play. But his friends remind him that they're going camping so he can't. He promises to help her after returning. William goes camping with his friends from class. They meet two hippies who join them by the fire and after learning that he is a Neanderthal, they are shocked and amazed. The girl curiously asks if he ever wishes he could go back to his time, to which he replies he does. Will goes back to the university and helps Judy with her lines before playing in front of the live audience that night. They kiss as the play comes to an end, and after the curtain fall, Will tries to continue kissing, but gets instantly rejected. Barbara and Julian attend a meeting about Will's struggle with standardized tests and his cognitive patterns not matching any recognizable model. Intensive tutoring will be helpful for the future, as he resubmits his college application. Julian is shocked and furious when he learns that Barbara withdrew William's college application without his permission. They get in a heated argument about William and where he should go and live, with Barbara suggesting he takes a part-time job on the island when he graduates, while Julian wants him to move in with him and explore more of the world. In the end, it will be ultimately up to William, as he turns 18 in a few weeks. Will walks along the beach with his friends, who discuss their college applications and which universities they were accepted in, including Judy who will be going to Columbia. Meanwhile Will's future is still uncertain. He meets with his parents who discuss how they want him to proceed, Barbara objects Julian's proposal for William to go to the university and ultimately back to his lab, but Julian says Will's immune system might be the key to helping millions of people. After some deliberation, Will decides to go to the university, but only if he earns his spot in there as a student. Julian is delighted and suggests Will to move in with him and prepare him for the college application exam. Back to the present day, Julian is checking Will's test, but is in utter shock at the little progress his son is making. He gets mad at Sarah for not teaching him properly and throws the paper in Will's face. He leaves the house without saying a word. We see tears running down Will's cheeks. Sarah tries to calm him down and tells him his scores are really good. She takes him out for a walk in the woods. She talks with him about her life and how her parents used to plan her future ahead, similar to what is happening to William. She tries to cheer him up with different topics, including Will's love of singing. They continue their walk which turns romantic after William kisses Sarah, who embraces him and kisses him back. In the evening, Sarah puts flowers in a vase which William gave her, but the couple gets interrupted by Julian who asks where they've been and questions why William isn't studying. William goes to his room and hugs the ancestor's stone in his chest as he falls asleep. The next morning, Sarah drives silent William to take his university application test. During the test, Will breaks his pencil again, after which, he observes the other young people around him having no issue using theirs, he takes the second one which breaks instantly as well. He proceeds to exit the classroom. As he walks around town, people stare and laugh at his appearance. He visits Godwin at the university, who takes him to see the remains from which he got cloned from, perfectly preserved. After closely observing, William determines the preserved Neanderthal doesn't belong here and neither does he. Sarah has contacted Barbara about Will's disappearing after the test and not picking his phone. Meanwhile, William has sneaked into one of Julian's lectures. This is a Neanderthal. His name is William. He's a dumb brute. A grunting savage. A caveman. William interrupts the lecture after Julian started to describe what Will's role in future is going to be. William. Not now. And not here. This is my work. Your work? You don't know anything about your work.
Your work is a failure. No, William. You're a failure. Hmm. Julian follows Will outside and tries to apologize, and asks him to go home to discuss this later. William refuses and says he's not his father, which makes Julian slap him. He tries to apologize again and force him to stop, which makes Will drop the Neanderthal stone which he's been carrying with him. Julian tries to take it away from him, but Will regretfully attacks him with it. All the students start filming and calling him a caveman. Will runs away. Sarah and Barbara keep searching as well as the police who patrol the area. Will comes out of the university as the police spot him. We see flashbacks of his childhood when he was attacked. Sarah spots Will, but she's stopped by the police. We see Will deciding to join his ancestors in the afterlife as he walks forward. Sarah cries out, but to no avail as the police surrounds Will's lifeless body, presumably shot for not obeying them. After some time, we see Sarah visiting the dig site of the Neanderthal, who William was cloned from, with a small child in her hands, presumably William's child. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thanks and see you again soon.